Hey everybody, Eternally Prussians Warframe here. I'm here to have a quick discussion, or as quick as I can make it, about the Soma Supreme set and of course the release of the Bolt Ace. I when I first saw this set, this is by the way, this is not going to be a review. I am showing everything off at level one, of course, as I normally do when I talk about it, but Rather than this being review, I want it to be more of a talking point. Now, I saw the Soma Supreme set and I said to myself, Hey, that's kind of cool, you know, they're, re -tex they're repurposing the textures, and they're, you know, tinkering with a few parts, remaking them, and turning them into solid weapons. The weapons themselves are definitely worth it. They, I really like the Axamati and, you know, the Dual Raza do okay for themselves. So I suppose I really can't complain because they didn't just lazily retake the skins and, well, I mean, they kind of laser, lazily retook the materials, but they did at least make competent weapons out of it. And they did make it very much in the Soma style of having a good clip size, having a good balance of things, so it's not this really tedious weapon to use, because I personally hate machine-style weapons. Like, I really don't even like assault rifles that much. Like, the Boltor, honestly, it's nice because it's heavy, but other than that, I really don't like it. Like, the Bratton, I don't like. The Hind, I really hesitate with. So, when I saw, obviously, the dual, sorry, not the dual Raza, the Axamati, I said to myself, eh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but, you know, it hit that nice sweet spot for me where it didn't have so much ammo consumption that you practically ran out in one or two clips. Uh, yeah, we, we, we all know what weapon is very guilty of that. Akzani, no, uh, no names mentioned, don't worry. But it had a decent enough clip size, and it did enough damage, and I, since I normally fight Grenier, I like piercing type weapons, or sometimes even impact and radiation weapons. So it was right up my alley, and like I said, it really hit that sweet spot for me of being a big enough clip size where you feel like you're just shredding out bullets, but it's not enough that it's literally going to kill your ammo count. So I found it to be an acceptable alternative. Now, the dual Raza, I think we are honestly already have enough dual weapons. I mean, the dual Skana, the dual Kama, the dual Ethers, or, uh, dual Ecor, anything with dual in its name. God, we already have enough of that. I don't really think we need more. Now, what might have been interesting would have been like a Soma Greatsword. That would have been really weird, but it would have been a really cool concept. So maybe that could have been applied, but, you know, I suppose you really can't go wrong with dual weapons. And since they are supposed to match speed, I guess dual weapons do fit, but now we're just getting into personal preference here. My issue, again, is not with the weapons themselves. They're solid. The Bolt Ace seems to at least, you know, do okay for itself. I haven't played with it much, so I can't tell you anything too accurately. But it looks like it performs about where the Cronin is. It's, it's, they're a pair of Tonfas. I don't really use the Tonfas much. I mean, the Cronin, I loved. I thought it was really cool as a unique weapon. And of course, they're releasing more. Again, that's not the issue. I kind of like it. My issue is how these weapons were made. It was, again, using old textures. And when they did it with the Supreme Soma set, I said, yeah, you know, that's a cool concept. I don't think I'd like to see it more than once, maybe twice. But hey, it looks kind of cool. I like the idea. They did it well enough. Again, they made competent weapons out of it. So there's not much to complain about. And they have an event going on right now. So with these two, actually, I take that back, with the two events going on right now, I can't say I'm upset at them for being a little, little bit more on the lazy side when it comes to weapon creation. So, you know, that was okay. But then I saw the Bolt Ace, and that's when I started asking myself questions. That's when I really started looking at it and saying, is this going to be a recurring trend? Is DE going to basically, because if you looked at the Axum, at the Dual Raza, of course it was cheesy that the clips were the blades, you know, whatever. I'll excuse a little bit of cheesiness. I like some gimmicky stuff, so I can't really, you know, bang on it too hard. But, I mean, look at the Bolt Ace. I look at this and I can right away tell, okay, you're holding a Bolto with a bunch of Ak Bolto spikes that were increased in size, and then you take the back of the Boltor, you stretch it out a little bit, add a hole or two, and oh look, we have a brand new, totally unthought of weapon. It's it I I mean, I'm pretty sure even an amateur texture artist can tell where everything came from and could probably have slapped this together. I will not claim to be an expert about texturing, I don't know a whole lot about it, but to me it looks like kind of a shoddy job. It, it doesn't look like they made all too creative use of the textures. I mean, 
it's better than just straight. I, uh, I was going to say it's better than slapping it on, but it quite literally looks like they just slapped a bolto onto some, you know, tonta looking things and called it brand new. I don't like the route that takes because what that says to me is if I remember a number of years back when the or when the, some of the older transformers and well I'm sure at my age you know 20 I'm I'm in no right to talk about what was truly the older transformers but you know the transformers from when I was a kid when they wanted to get rid of the old models like the old Jetfire model the old Optimus Prime model they pulled some pretty cheeky shit with it what they did is obviously when you're young you don't know any better but now I do they re they took these exact same transformer parts everything was exactly the same except for the color scheme and the symbol and they said oh look at this this is the new second in command jet fire you know who is it his brother or whatever and they they tried to make it all you know brand spooky new and make you go oh wow that's so cool you know it's for the other side but when you look at it when you're older you're like holy shit that is beyond incredibly lazy and offers me nothing whatsoever and when I saw them release, you know, the Stoma Supreme set, you know, that thought was in the back of my head, but I'm like, nah, DE's better than that, so it kind of crammed its way back there, but once I saw the Bolt Ace, I said to myself, is this the road they're going to go down? Because that wouldn't be good. Warframe is still plenty fresh and good on ideas. There's still tons of things to do, and worse comes to worse, they can just say, hey, community, what do you got? And they could probably pull about 60 new weapons out of there, because people have some amazing ideas and some amazing artwork out there. I wish I could provide links. This is just from hearsay and from little tidbits here and there on forums that there have been some really amazing weapons ideas. I mean, go check the Warframe forums. You'll find tons of ideas for Warframes, tons of ideas for weapons, and the community has made stuff before. They even have a community skin bundle, and that's just those are just the color sets alone, and they turned out pretty cool. I didn't buy it because I only personally liked a couple of them, and to me they weren't worth you know the full platinum price, so I didn't get them. But I'm pretty sure that if push came to shove, DE could honestly ask the community and say, hey, we're in a tight spot, help us out. Now, I noticed that with all the new weapons being released, and in the middle of two events, that these are very different weapons, even though the DiQ is basically another uh, bow and arrow. But even still, you know, it has a little bit of a different look to it. It's more in the style of an English longbow, and, you know, that's fine. That can that can be done that can be dealt with that I don't really have too much of an issue with you know it's a bow and arrow you can only have so many looks for it so you know they've proven they've proven it wrong because they're not going along the trend of we're just going to keep re-releasing you know old skins and calling them new weapons and they're not going to do the lazy bolt ace thing they did but I still can't help but wonder a little bit if they're going to repeat this and I hope they don't. I hope they only release, like, maybe, maybe one more like this, so, you know, you have, like, oh, you know, this trinity of good-looking weapons together. I honestly want to see more new weapons, more just kind of cool weapons, even if they don't really match, so to speak. I want to see new on-the-cusp weapons, because I think part of a challenge of putting weapons together, you know, in a loadout is if you make them look good and you color-coordinate them, you can do much better than just saying, oh, look, I got this Bolt Ace, now my entire set matches, which is technically true, but I find it to be a little bit better and a little bit more, I guess you could say, creatively open when you have to make your own schemes and have to match up the colors with it. But again, this is, I suppose, just me ranting. The weapons are fine. I say still get them. No worries about that. Please go ahead by all means. But I see something like the Bolt Ace, and I don't want to buy it. I barely even want to make it, I just want to have it for the sake of having it, and that's not really what a weapon should be for. But, this is Eternally Prussian, 